With the presidential campaign officially underway, Governor Ron DeSantis hosting more than 400 veterans and their families here at the governor's mansion in Tallahassee today. The first major appearance for the governor since launching his presidential bid on Wednesday. At the end of the day, you can have the best declaration that's ever been written. You can have the best constitution that's ever been written. But unless you have people throughout our history that are willing to put on a uniform, risk their lives, and in some cases give the last full measure of devotion service to this country, uh, then a lot of those principles aren't going to amount to very much. Governor Ron DeSantis honoring a crowd of veterans Sunday in Tallahassee, and in turn, veterans showing support for the now presidential candidate. Freedom's fragile. Uh, freedom is not something that can go on autopilot. It requires each generation uh, to fight and to <laughs> to fight for it. And uh, nobody has done that more uh, than the veterans who've given the last full measure of devotion and service to this country. Just last week, and not even a week ago, we had a big uh, press conference where the governor signed six veterans bills. Florida District 1 representative and U.S. Army veteran Michelle Salzman touting the governor's legislative support for veterans and telling me she expects DeSantis' presidential platform to emulate his Florida policy on a wider scale. You know, we'll expand that into a more federal conversation for the border crisis. Certainly it wouldn't just be things that our state, but potentially, you know, uh, securing the border in, in whatever way that, that he sees fit. Salzman says Republican officials across the Florida panhandle stand in solidarity supporting the governor's bid for the White House in 2024. I think it's important that we're all on the same page no matter what we're doing, you know, and, and in reference to supporting the governor for the presidential primary, it certainly just makes sense. He knows who we are. He was there for us during our hard times, during COVID, during hurricanes. We know that he'll show up when we need him to. I mean, he, he just has great policy and a, and a good relationship, and it just makes sense for folks in the panhandle to support somebody that's been there for us. U.S. Army veteran and Jefferson County native Al Cooksey says he supports Governor DeSantis' presidential run, but wants to see an all-out push ahead of the primaries on a number of issues. Immigration would be one of them. That's definitely one of the things I think we got to get on. And, and the budget, the dadgum budget is crazy. I mean, we way overspend every time, and we promise to not overspend, and we keep doing it. I think it means you speed it up, and let's get it done. I mean, I'm tired of waiting around. A busy week ahead now for the governor. He's planning to make campaign stops in New Hampshire, Iowa, and South Carolina. For WEAR News, I'm Tanner Stewart.